We have all heard about the one that got away. New tonight, we're hearing about a massive sturgeon that needed a lot of help to swim to freedom. So you can see this here over our shoulders. The Department of Fish and Wildlife says in real life it was over five feet long. So that's actually pretty, pretty close. close. Yeah. And they say it could have been up to 25 years old. It was caught illegally by a fisherman near Tracy. Well, Case Area 3's Melanie Wingo has the incredible rescue story as this fish had already been hauled away, taken out of the water, and in the back of a poacher's SUV. This right here, not what fish and wildlife officers want to see. What the Federal Endangered Species Act classifies as a threatened species shoved in the back of a car something that grabbed our attention. A call from an alert angler tipping off wardens that a man poached a green sturgeons from the Delta waters at Clifton Four Bay near Tracy, something that's strictly forbidden. If they're incidentally caught, they're required to be released without even being removed from the water. There aren't a lot of them, which is why they are not uh, allowed for sport take. Wildlife officers rushed to track down where the man witnesses say took the fish lives, sighted him and realized the fish was still alive. The sturgeon are fish that can survive um, longer than other fish out of water. The fish had been out of the water for at least an hour and a half, but it had something going in its favor. Its gills were moving, its body was moving. Wildlife officers brought the fish here to Tracy Oasis. They say they got down in the water, rocked the fish back and forth, keeping water moving through its gills, and then they realized the fish was regaining its strength. Video from Fish and Wildlife showing the attention they put into helping the fish worked. After about 90 minutes, we were able to see the fish swim away and swim down, which is a good sign. Wardens say the man who took the fish is facing several fines for taking the protected sturgeon. He transported this fish alive from the waters where he took it, which is also illegal. But with this poaching case, they're relieved it worked out the way it did. Not only was the subject that um, committed the crimes, held accountable, uh, but the fish was able to go back alive, which pretty is pretty rare that that actually happens. In Tracy, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. That Still is can't incredible. Be can't believe it. Yeah. I didn't know that could happen until tonight. Well, yeah. wildlife officers say that 67-year-old Kevin Kytran of Tracy is mm -hmm. now facing several fines for taking that green sturgeon. Those fines range from hundreds to thousands of dollars and based on his criminal history and depending on whether he's committed any previous wildlife type crimes.